right, so just to make sure I understand exactly what they just said, they said that the Olympic Committee said that there was never any doubt that this fighter was a woman. Mm -hmm. And two sentences before that, they said, these people saying that it's not a woman won't provide us the evidence of the tests. And you're like, why would you have asked for that if there was never any doubt, okay? Mm -hmm. Two sentences apart, completely contradictory. Can't have it both ways. There's never any doubt. But we did ask for the gender test and they just wouldn't give it to us. All right, so play with matches. We have a treat for you guys. We do. Because we are going to talk about the uh, Emane Khalif is, uh, situation again in the Olympics. And guess what? Yay, yay, yay. We have the whole entire quarterfinal fight, and we could show you the whole thing. Exciting. This never happens. This never happens. In case you haven't seen it yet. We haven't seen it yet. Okay. It's true. We know what happens in the end, but I went and looked on YouTube to try to find it, and I found a clip that looks like this, taken from the stands, and that means I can show you the whole thing, because NBC is not going to block this one. Exciting see. And then we're going to talk about this entire situation. Actually, I gotta catch Gabrielle up a little bit on the situation. He usually does. Yeah. I'm not always up to date on current events, so y'all get to do that with me. Do you know how much money Gabrielle made this last month? And that I'm is not because- not allowed to say. A lot. Uh-huh. And that's because she has no time to look at anything that matters. Literally nothing. I love what I do. She doesn't, she doesn't yes. know anything. I don't know anything about the world right now. Yeah, nothing. We made... I it had, was a good month. I, I did my biggest month by a mile last month, and she did too. And Anyway, but it comes at a cost to her, which is that she literally knows nothing. nothing. Oh, my God. I actually thought I was going to have to pull out a new, um, a new tab, but I already have it ready for you guys. Okay, here's the deal. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel, even though you might think, I don't even know what their opinion is on this boxer. If they think she's a girl then I will never subscribe. And if they say she is a girl, I'll unsubscribe. And some of you might be like, if these transphobic freaks say that that's a man, I will never watch this channel again. What do you think about those opinions, Gabrielle? Um, People are going to have strong opinions. Calm down. Calm. Says the guy who's so excited to talk about it. Yeah, but I will tell you right now, I don't know. We don't know. I don't know, man. I thought I knew. I realized. I don't know. You know? Let's watch the tape and see. Well, let me show you this first really quick. Okay? So this is what I'm talking about. So there was actually enough stuff going around that I was like, all right, let me at least like a lot of what I'm saying is based on that photo. I know. Not the running one. The one underneath it. That is. A lot of what I'm saying is based on the eyeball test. And this eyeball test says. That well, person, we showed this to our kids as a blind test earlier today in the car. They were like, man. We we're like, mm-hmm. right. But it's not quite as cut and dry as it looks. Like, this one looks a little more ladylike, kind mm-hmm. of. But, you know, I, don't know. I mean, listen, if they, if, if they really test their XY chromosomes, that's a conversation's over. But look at this. That looks like a lady to me, dude. That maybe, picture looks maybe. a little ladylike to me. Well, I don't know. You know? I genuinely don't know. But here's what I want to communicate to everybody. Okay? Bottom line. This is one person. Yeah. And if you think that, like, you're all, no, you don't get it. This has to be a man. You're all, "Uh, guys. Or, or, no, it has to be a lady. It's like, you're the problem. Just relax. We, if, if you're on the side of women should not have to fight dudes. That's our side. That's our side. Obviously. Yes. And any dude. Although that, our kids just did fight some boys today at a jiu-jitsu tournament. But they're children. Pre-pubescent, they're six and eight. Prepubescent children. And I still don't like it. I would prefer they only fight girls. But nonetheless. like. That's true. But if you have a division for boys and a division for girls, let's just stay in our lanes. Is that so hard? Our biological lanes. And let's you know, like, there. oh, you were a man when you were born. Guess what, dude? You're yeah. a man now. But, I, I mean, live your life. Do you. But you just don't get to fight girls and you don't get to compete against That's girls it. In we sports. all because of things that we're born with or you know ways that we are we all have to sacrifice certain things now and then if you're born a man you sacrifice fighting and competing against women it's not that complicated That's it. so everything else fair game exactly and you so know, to put i don't that, get to play basketball because i'm short 
I Kinda don't same. get to have sex with more than one girl because I'm married. Yeah, take it. Well, that it's wasn't a, what you were born with, but okay. Take, it's, I, okay. it's all right. Hey, what were, were you, what were you thinking about right now, Jesse on Fire? Uh, I was thinking about well, having Saturday sex with night, one of the girls that is on the screen right now, and I'll give you a guess whether it's this potential girl, but maybe probably a man or the one that's sitting next to me. We don't know. Point being, and I think this is important to note, mm-hmm. is that... This should not be about taking sides. You should, if you, if it's about this particular athlete, just be like, look, if it's a man, I am against men competing against women. Mm -hmm. People have a serious problem doing shit like that. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you tell me that they have XY chromosome, starching people, then I've got a problem. But again, this kind of looks a little bit like kind of girly. I don't know. I can't really tell. I'm just going to say, I can't tell dude. Yeah. It's a very masculine female or a very effeminate man. And I will say that every one of the wokesters on Twitter who are screaming at people and calling them transphobic are 100 out of 100% retarded. You're all retards. You don't know. Are we allowed to say that word? You don't know that that's a lady, you we stupid don't know. motherfuckers. Nobody knows. You Only don't they know. know. And their parents. Okay. The smartest people in the room. Are me and Gabrielle by saying, looks like a dude, might be a lady. I think saying, I don't know, is a sign of intelligence. I totally agree. Now, let's watch this dude beat the shit out of a girl. (laughs) (laughs) Took me a second to catch up there. (laughs) Oh, man. Watch this dude beat the shit out of a girl. Let's see. لكل من دعمها خلال الحملة القذرة التي تعرضت لها ألف مليون مبروك للبطلة الجزائرية. What a great Unless idea. And obviously the dude is in the red, if you couldn't tell by looking. that's it. The dude is in the red and is beating the shit out of the girl in the blue. And this is the Italian girl. Nope, this is the new it, girl. This, is the, this just happened. Oh, okay. This is like the quarterfinals after the Italian girl, who, by the How way- How long is this video? I'm curious. Uh, uh, three minutes total. So not a very long match. She's doing better than the Italian girl did already, though. Mm-hmm. That Italian girl broke my heart. That story about her daddy. Yeah, that was one of the worst things I've ever seen. Yeah. But okay, so doing better. Holding her own. Holding her own. Okay. Can we? Do we need to fast forward a little bit? No. We're this is a, we're something? seeing the fight, dude. Okay. This is not. It's obviously not. Y'all, it's only, ooh, she got caught, dude. Yeah, or or tell, he got like, caught. I live in the world of short form content. Okay. <laughs> well, like, we live in the in the like. This is only a couple minutes. This entire I fight. I know. I know. I just okay. Anybody who clicks on this, I mean, and I can edit it afterwards. You know, if we want to just, you know, push the scales one way or all, let's not show the girl doing too always, good. I'm, I'm always like a less is more person, but I, I, I understand. Hey, that. so which I, of us knows how to do YouTube? I th- I know. I know. I'm saying that's why I was I was saying, like, in case you can't tell, like I'm short form is my world. I'm new to this YouTube world. This uh, this girl in the blue is. She do- whoa, she, she caught her. Caught yeah, I saw that. Caught. Caught person. him. Yeah, caught, caught, caught it. Person. Caught it. Caught them in the red. Caught the red one. Okay. I just hate when I realize that I got caught into like a culture war thing and my opinion. Do you? I, you that know, you might be wrong? No, just that like I when I recognize the conversation has lost the plot. I'm Why am I screaming about whether or not it's a man? How the fuck do I know? Looks like a man. Tested XY chromosomes. I heard. Looks like a man. Hits like a man. Do you know what I mean? It's like, like I'm good at going like. How could you possibly know it's a girl? And then it's like, how could you possibly know it's a man? I'm like, shit. Look at that introspection. I've always been pretty good at that. Just because I talk real confident doesn't mean that I'm not capable of being like. I'm saying a lot of the world is not that way. Either way, dudes should not be able to beat up girls. And that's all we're saying. Or swim against them or do whatever where men clearly have a physiological advantage in physical things. Here's the thing. Bottom line. Bottom line, this is going to be a massive net positive for this person because now they become a hero Yeah. for the uh, the freak weirdos, you know? It's like, guys, why is this a heroic thing? It's a person in the Olympics. Even if it's a girl, how are they a hero? Because they were born with a genetic, like a genetic advantage. thing that gives them a tremendous advantage over every other it. girl. What That's it. Happened? That's it. They must have won a decision. It was only three Bo- minutes? I guess. Boring. Wait, now I'm all confused. Hold on. 
I, boxing matches in the Olympics are more than three minutes, aren't they? I don't know. What happened? We need to figure this out. How did they win? Mm, let's find out. Let's go to the Google. In main, all right, let's see. So we go to the news. Okay. Algerian boxer clinches medal okay. at Olympics after outcry fueled by gender misconceptions. Oh, well, let's take a look at this picture of this 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 uh, this lady. You know, hey, sweet. Hey, have a have a look at this little lady. Because if I've ever seen a lady. This, this is, is the definition. Definitely 100% a lady. Lady! I mean... Maybe. Cyborg. Cyborg has boobs. Does she? Oh. Does Girl, see what I'm saying? Boobs? Like, girls have boobs. Not all girls. I have, like, a lot of boobs. <sighs> I'm just saying, dude. I don't know. All right. Well, I want to know what happened in the match. Cause All right. So I think it says uh, boxer Emane Khalif of Algeria clinched a medal at the Paris Olympics in an emotional fight Saturday that followed up days of a sharp scrutiny and online abuse. Oh, that's OK. Misconceptions I mean, about her gender exploded into a It kind of was. What? If, if, if this person is a woman, it kind of was. That is exactly what I said. Yeah. But they were thrown out of. They were thrown out. uh, Listen, a boxing. Look at this. Khalif faced outcry by claims of the International Boxing Association, which has been banned from the Olympics since 2019, that she failed an unspecified eligibility test to compete last year over elevated levels of testosterone. And they said X Y chromosomes. That's what they said. Her. They said that. Did they test DNA? Can you? They didn't test her here for sure. But they. They didn't test. they They did like a blood test, like a DNA test. That's what they're saying. They checked her passport at the Olympics is what they did. Right. But the people who did a test said it's a dude. The Olympics doesn't test for. That's ridiculous. All right. Maybe that's something we should have more outcry over. I mean, look, this person has been competing on an international level for a long time. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that's. Again, I don't have any idea. Looks. Dude the looks Paris like a Paris Games has been. Has that. Wait, that has championed inclusion. And where? Oh, featuring God. drag queens LGBTQ plus groups say the hateful comments could pose dangers to their community and female athletes oh shut the fuck no up. it's not posing a danger to female athletes it's not posing God. a danger to anyone you guys are worried about the health of female athletes now yeah. really I'm a little worried about really? the safety of female athletes really if they're put into a position where they have to face a biological male that's what I'm a little worried about. As the mom of three girls who compete in, like, martial arts. God, Our I little can't. girls just did a jiu-jitsu tournament today. And I think they separate the boys and girls, what, at age, like, 10, 12? 12 is late, in my opinion. 10 is, like, the top limit where you should separate the boys and the girls. But even watching today, our girls in on the mat with boys, boys already have an advantage at ages oh, 6 and 8. This is important. Look at this. Hungary, the girl who she beat, is from Hungary. Boxing Association said Friday that it planned to contest the matchup with the International Olympic Committee, okay. but still let the fight go ahead. After the bout, Hungarian IOC member Balzvar said alongside Hamori that she was adamant that, that it was, was never, never an option, option not to fight. fight. I'm so proud of myself because I had to fight, I and I like to fight. She got in there and did it. Uh, this was a hard fight, but I think I got to do everything I wanted in the fight, and I think... In this fight, I'm so proud of myself and I'm so grateful to be here. This is a childhood dream. Bless her heart. So they are, uh, we Hungarians are always ready to fight bravely, fiercely. And that's what Luca has done and showed us. Yada, yada. Okay, so they're going to contest it though. Okay. Well, this will be interesting. We'll watch as the story unfolds. Um, Let's be clear. We're talking about women's boxing. We have two boxers who. Are, so this is the thing they're saying. They're, they're trying to say that the. <laughs> we have two boxers who are born as women, who have been raised as a woman, who have a passport as a woman, and who have competed for many years as women. And this is the clear definition of a woman. Is it? What on? Who is said that, that? Who uh, said that? Bach. Whoever Bach is. What? Like okay. The IOC, IOC president, president Thomas Bach earlier Saturday defended. This is insane. Uh, after That's what it claimed were failed woman. eligibility tests. Both had competed in IBA events for several <laughs> years without problems. Kate, okay, irrelevant. Uh-huh. The Russian-dominated body, which has faced years of clashes with the IOC, has refused to provide any information about the test, underscored its lack of transparency in nearly every aspect of its dealings, particularly... Okay, that's fine. Why would they provide uh, like transparency when you kick them out of the Olympics? But that's fine. 
Let's be clear Hang here. On, there was never any doubt about them being a woman. We, That's an interesting sentence quoted. There was never any doubt about they're, them. They're talking about two people. There's two. There's not just, she's not the only one. He's have, not the only one. Oh, whatever. It's not okay, the only okay, one. Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, Box and Saturday, we have two boxers who were but born. Then say them being women, not them being a woman. That's a weird quote. Wait, two boxers who are born as a woman, mm-hmm. who have been raised as a woman, who have a passport as a woman, and who have competed for many years as women. Mm-hmm. And this is the clear definition of a woman. That might be the stupidest. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. That might, honest to God, be the stupidest sentence I've ever heard a person of authority say. That's not the definition of a woman. Nothing you said there at all is the Defines definition of a woman. What are you talking about? Not any of it. Oh, it's got a passport? It's got a passport? Yes. Wow. And so there was never any doubt of that about them being a woman. So why'd you ask for the for the test then? Hey, there was Wait, never any doubt. For a test but now? also the organizing or the organizing body that tested them and said they were boys won't provide any evidence of the test. Y'all, I thought there wasn't any doubt. Yeah. What? Why do you need evidence if there was if never any no doubt? doubt? Why'd you ask for clarity if there was Touché. never any doubt? You double talking motherfucker. Mm-hmm. The IBA, IBA, which is led by uh, an acquaintance of Russia. Oh my God. <laughs> of course, dude. It's always Russia. It's Putin's fault. It's Russia. Led by an acquaintance of Russian President Vladimir Putin. Disqualified Khalif last year and called information about the test confidential. Oh my God. Donald Trump, who is an associate. This is going to come back to Trump. Of yeah, Vladimir 100%. Putin. Yeah. Said that. Hillary Clinton oh did blibbity bloop with her emails. You're all, she did do blibbity bloop with her emails. Yeah, but that's blibbity what Trump bloop. said, who happens to be connected to Vladimir Putin. You're all, how is that a catch? Like what? He just said, we will not take part in a sometimes politically motivated culture war. What, I mean, I'm pretty sure you're taking part in it, saying that a passport is a definition of a woman. I'm pretty sure you've made your stance very clear. I mean, it's just... <laughs> You're participating, home slice. You're, well, or you're just being fundamentally inept at your job, which is to Verify ensure safe, women. you know, gamesmanship. Yeah. Gamesmanship. It's good. I like that. Okay. Um, this whole thing's crazy. I still want to know how they won event. the match. Like, did it go to decision? If so, then, or like, did it go the, the length or whatever? Yeah. Go the distance? Sounds like it. Um, well, hats off to Hungry Girl for doing that. Oh my God, I cannot believe these people. All right, that's what we got for today. Love you guys. Bye.